Hello and welcome back. So everything went well with our previous example. We discovered what is the listener, what is the subscriber, and we implement a simple basic examples intercepting the exception from the kernel. But you may would like to try something else different. And the things that we would like to apply onto our application example, we have a to do. So let's suppose I would like to execute something like sending an email or that kind of stuff, any action that I would like to execute on a specific life cycle of my entity, whether persisting or updating, whatever. So in today's video, we'll be using the event subscriber to intercept the post persist. When we do present something to the database, I would like to execute something, whether dump, whether send an email, as I said, etc. So right here to do that, I start by creating inside the event listener, I created a to-do listener. That is simple class PHP that contain nothing, just the namespace and there is no method yet integrated. And I would like to tell the Symfony service loader to handle that things. So right here, I start by typing the namespace app event listener, and I would like to load to do event listener. Okay, it seems like uh, I need to grab the name manually. So it's to do listener. And right here, make sure that everything is fine. Great. Now here, I would like to define the tag, or the tags actually, as we did previously. And instead of the kernel event, I will be defining a doctrine event. So right here, I will do doctrine event listener. And the event that I will be intercepting will be the post persist with a capital P. Okay, so this self-explanatory name is explaining itself. We'll be intercepting and executing an event when we do post a persist, when we do post persist after everything went to the database. Okay? Then we could also use the pre-persist, but we could explain this later on this course. Now we could move back to our to-do listener, and right here I will start by creating a public function and it will take the name as you may guess a post persist in this way symphony will know that this event when it's fired then this end listener will use this method to intercept it right and we could just move on and create a very basic example for now we won't care what we pass right here but later we'll go back to it and right here let's suppose i would like to dump hello from event listener post persist event listener to do you could type whatever you want for sure and let's just try that out so right here what i have i would like to go again and insert a new record so i'll just do uh, any kind of random name or whatever and slow banding just type these kind of things and when i do submit now look what happened to my application Everything went well, recorded to the database, but I have also this message. Let me make this bigger. Hello from the persist event listener to do. Okay, this means that my record is persisted to the database, and I have this message message, sorry, that I could use it to display it, or as I said, to send an email, etc. But we could go more further with this example. So instead of passing nothing to this post persist, we could pass a lifecycle argument, which is containing, uh, it will contain actually the object persisted to the database. So we start by defining a dollar args right here. Oops, sorry, it must be inside the parenthesis. And it will be of type life cycle event args that is loaded from doctrine or an event lifecycle args right here okay great then the next thing let me just do entity equal to dollar args and look what i get from that i could do get entity or get object so i go to get object and from there i will have access to the type of this entity so what i'm going to do is I will need to check if, because actually the problem here that this listener will fire on any persist, on any post persist on the entire application. And let's suppose we only need to watch the to do 
event so we need to filter right here so what i am going to do is the following so i will do if not entity instance of and let me we have to grab the to do entity then i will tell him to return do nothing right elsewhere we'll be executing our script we could do echo dollar entity get name get sorry get let's go for the title for example right there okay so now if i do refresh we have the name inserted which is this one so if i do update it and hit submit again i will have that name inside that echo so everything is working properly with our example